you heard me talk to Coach a little bit about the, the picks, so mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, <clears throat> setting the fourth down one offside, the other plays, what is he correct? You're trying to make something happen? Yeah, now? he is, and uh, just tried to force it, and when it wasn't there, and I had to be more careful with the ball this week, and, and I got to put our defense in a better position. Um, like West Virginia ran the ball, and our defense was out there almost the whole game, so got to do a better job keeping the defense off the field and, and keep the offense, keeping the first downs, and, <clears throat> and each play get some yards and stay on track. Well, that takes sort of a, a conscious effort to, you know, you see something, you're like, ooh, let me try that, but you sort of have to remind yourself quickly, uh, you know, I don't need to do that. A little that. bit, yeah, and, and I just can't force it. I got to be aware of that during the game, and I got to make sure I don't, I don't try to do too much and just, just run the offense. Is that a hard thing to do, man? I mean, is it you, the competitor in you wants to make a play, you see it crease, or I mean, is it hard to kind of pull um, back on that ring? A little bit, but you know, I just have to to listen to my offensive coordinator and run the play. So that's what every good quarterback does, and, and that's something I have to get better at. Matt, this is the first. Obviously, you're all Mac now, and you face three very tough opponents in the next three weeks. Is this maybe the a really big test for you guys to see how you guys stack up against the best teams um, in the league. It is going to be a good test, and, and each week is important. And I think it will be a good test for our offense to see how we bounce back from a loss and, and see if those guys are ready to play on Saturday. So. Looking backwards one last time, I promise, at least last for me, <laughs> is it hard to put that game behind you and then move on? to what's ahead of you, or is it in No, the, I mean, you, you have to, and, and once we hit Tuesday's practice, you got to put, put it behind you and focus on Western, so that's what we're doing, and I think we'll be ready to go Saturday. Have, have you and your team, do you feel like you guys as a group have been able to do that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. we got Binky out there, and that's, that's nice for offense, too, and, and the guys are really working hard for this week and getting prepared, so. Will you talk a little bit about what you've seen on film from Western's defense? Um, they got some fast guys, and, and like Coach Clausen said, they got uh, safeties and corners at, at linebacker uh, and some downs. So um, the coverages are not going to be different than we've seen this year, and, and so it will be a good challenge. Is there, in your eyes, one thing in particular you guys have to do offensively to be successful, or one one thing you need to focus on? Not really. Just do our assignment, and and up front, I'm sure those guys are going to do a great job, like they have all year, and and the receivers are going to play great. So I just have to make better decisions, and and that's on me. So does this three-game road swing wear on you and your teammates? Um, no, I don't think so. Just another game, whether that's home or away. And, and I think we've got to come ready to play every Saturday, whether we're tired or not. And that's just how it goes in this league. Anything else from that? Thank you. Thank you, guys.